What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical American man here today to learn and react to what Norwegians eat for breakfast. Um, I've been uh, reacting to a little bit about Norway's history, uh, Norway's economic status in the world, so I decided today <laughs> something a little more lighthearted a little less dense intellectually, you know, what what Norwegians eat for breakfast. And to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't expect much of a difference in what the people of Norway eat for breakfast versus what the people of America eat for breakfast. So I'm really interested to see what if there's any surprises in this video, because I can't even begin to tell you what food, culinary, the culinary situation in Norway is like. The only thing that comes to my mind, if I, you were to ask my American bias, would be Norway and Europeans are very health, healthy, health conscious, health conscious. So maybe everything will be super healthy. I don't know. Don't go. <laughs> Uh, I can stop speculating now and find out. What Norwegians eat for breakfast. Today we are asking the people of Trondheim, Norway about breakfast. Okay. Hvad spiste du til frokost i dag? Oh jeez, what did he just say? Breakfast. Hvad spiste du til frokost i dag? Frokost i dag. That's all I can say. Maybe I said breakfast today. I don't know. <laughs> or uh, I don't know how Norwegian language is structured. I might have said the first part of the sentence. I don't know. Jeg spiste frokost running. Cereal. This is probably the number one thing Americans will eat for breakfast. Cereal. <laughs> Didn't, did not eat breakfast. See, uh, that's interesting. I actually don't really eat breakfast myself. If uh, you were to take a poll of Americans, I would bet you most Americans do eat breakfast. Cereal, for the most part, but something for breakfast. Breakfast has long been discussed and marketed in America as the most important meal of the day. You have to have breakfast to have energy for the rest of the day. Never skip breakfast. I don't subscribe to that theory. Uh, I get along perfectly well without eating a breakfast, but it is interesting if in Norway, do you often fast? Do you not have breakfast? Or is this kind of considered unusual as well? <laughs> as we <see> true <laughs> She's saying it was a little bad, so usually Norwegians have breakfast, like Americans. Okay. That was a little bad. Today, so I spiced the bread to breakfast. Oatmeal. Yeah, this is just starting to seem very, very much American <laughs> so far. Uh, cereal and oatmeal, definitely what Americans would eat for breakfast. A rumstick with lavendelbostai. Liver pate? Liver paste? What is that? I'm scared. I'm scared. What is this? Liver pate. It's a food, thank goodness. It, meat spread made from coarsely ground pork liver and lard. My god. That is disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, this is the first thing that this doesn't exist in America on any level. This is not a thing. I've never heard of this. We Americans don't eat organs. Uh, it's probably not good. Honestly, it'd probably be better if our culture accepted eating animal organs because I know they're very healthy. But we do not eat them. We certainly don't ground them up and eat them as a paste. This Makes me sick. I'm sorry. <laughs> she did it as well. Bread roll with liver pate. 
or pate. Liver. I know liver is very healthy, so actually I respect it. I respect the liver pate on on bread, but uh, no, never in a million years. No. Um, no thanks. Yogurt. Okay. See, we have normal things: bread, yogurt, oatmeal. But when you throw in the liver, that's just uh, not a thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, that's all normal. All perfectly good. Yeah, this is the most popular thing. Once again, cereal with milk. Oh, my milk. Eggs, <laughs> Mr. Egg. Eggs, yep. Polar broad. Polar broad. I'm not familiar with polar broad. Polar broad. It's a type of bread? Swedish bread company. Ah, it's like a brand name. It's a bread. Okay. Yeah, I can see the picture here. Looks tasty. I like bread, but we do not, we don't have that in America for sure. I would eat it though. I'd eat that for breakfast. Liver! Stop! <laughs> Stop eating the liver, actually. Keep eating it. It's probably very good for you. Uh, we are all gonna live our unhealthy little lives over here. Liver free. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that's all pretty typical. Hmm. I personally have never had salami mayonnaise on bread. I mean, first and foremost, this is definitely not customary in the United States. No one would ever have this for breakfast. I'm not showing utter disgust or dismissiveness at it, only because... We do eat these foods, just not for breakfast, I guess. What will you say is a typical or traditional Norsk frokost? Oh, here we go. I would say bread. Bread with a lot of salt on it. So it can be meat, 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 egg, if you want to slow it a little bit. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of bread. And Americans... We have certain bread items that are standard in breakfast. That would be bagels, pancakes, waffles. We have bready items, but certainly not toast, which is heated bread, toasted bread. But we certainly just don't eat a loaf of bread, let alone just a regular bread with meat. That is, I wouldn't say that's an American thing. Um... Havregrød, også. Oatmeal? Mellom brødmat og salt pålegg og havregrød. Ok. Og gjerne et glass melk til frokosten. Mye melk. Yeah. Ok. Brødskiv. Bread? En typisk norsk frokost er vel fort av brødskiv eller havregrød. Yeah, that's, that's pretty typical in America. Except we wouldn't just have a piece of bread, is all. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. We would toast it, or it'd be in the form of a bagel. Or something. Yeah. I didn't even mention egg. They've been a lot of people have been saying egg. Egg is right up there with cereal in popularity. Very popular, very common. A lot of Americans have egg for breakfast and bacon. Those are classic breakfast food. Bread with cheese and cucumber. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Um, doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Very healthy. I, except the cheese? I don't know. Uh, for me, it's bread So bread is the classic Norwegian breakfast. Bread with something. Um, I would say for America, the classic breakfast is cereal, as opposed to bread. I'd go with cereal. Or egg, bacon, pancakes. Yeah. I don't have a but I think it's either a eller or a brødskive with a little bit of 
Okay. So bread with cheese is what a Norwegian would identify. Like that's a that's a standard Norwegian breakfast. Bread with cheese. That's interesting. I would eat that. It sounds fine. Uh, that's not an American thing, but it sounds good. Bread, cheese, salami. Goat cheese. Yeah, we we don't get goat cheese. Uh, yeah, our our bread and our cheeses are pretty tame, to be honest. Or milk or coffee. Yeah. Okay. That's normal. What is the Norwegian culture when it comes to breakfast? That's what I was kind of saying. The American culture would be breakfast is very important. Um, sometimes families will sit down together and eat breakfast, but Usually, it's a per, a child go at running to school, grabbing a bagel, or um, an adult going to work, grabbing toast, or quickly eating a bowl of cereal. It's not really a big family event. It's mostly an individual thing and very quick. The norske frokosten er kanskje mer en sånn praktisk løsning. Nordmenn er opptatt av at man er nødt til å spise bra på starten av okay. dagen for å ha energi frem til lunsj. Okay. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. And I was thinking Norwegians were probably more health aware than Americans. My god. Americans are not health aware. At all. Uh, most Americans. Of course you'll find Americans who are health conscious and thinking about that, but f by, by far the vast majority of Americans eat very unhealthy breakfast, especially with cereal, how very sugary, fatty cereal. It's, uh, it's not good, honestly. So there's much more focus on lunch than on breakfast. So it's also, you learn from the small that grovt bread and grovt food is important for that energy. I mean, bread does have a lot of energy. It will give you energy. Starches and grains and all that. So I understand the the thought there. It makes sense. It's certainly all much healthier than the American breakfast. Right. Yes. Yes, that's very similar to America. A lot of breakfast is determined by speed. Something you can eat easily and quickly. Out the door, on the go, in your car, you can bring it to work. So it's usually something small, quick, and easy. So, a uh, half hour's time for breakfast, I would say, as usual. Yeah. Every day, it's not so social. No. But in the evening, maybe. Okay. Oh, it's social. Yeah. That's very similar. It's gonna be just you eating breakfast on the way to school, before school or before work. And on the weekend, maybe you'll sit down with the family and have more of a traditional family breakfast that's more elaborate. There's more things there. You spend more time preparing the breakfast and eating together. But some people still don't ever do that even. A lot of people just eat the same thing seven days a week. Yes. Yeah. This first day, I was in my home, so I didn't get social. Yep. On Sunday, I was in my home, so I was in my home. Yeah, this is a very similar idea here. I was very sad and 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 I was very sad. Yeah. I can say that everyone has a very good time on the morning. Fordi du må fort på jobb. Det kan noen ta seg god tid å lage en fin frokost og spise det de vil, men ja, jeg vet ikke. Ja, jeg mener, hun er rett. Det er veldig mye basert på den individuelle. Jeg bare prøver å forklare hva de fleste amerikanere ville tenke og gjøre om frokost. Og de ikke bruker mye tid på det, så det er nesten veldig prosessede mat. 
which are not very healthy. Jag har väldigt många kompisar som inte äter frukost bara för att på jobb och så väntar att se lunchen på jobb eller något sånt så så är vi inte. Yeah, we call this fasting or intermittent intermittent fasting in America where you just don't eat breakfast, you wait until lunch. You know, some people only eat once a day. So yeah, that's an option. Det det kommer en tant på säkert går det är från. Det kan ju vara allt detta som nu i ferien så har varit väldigt socialt när det travet att ska på jobb och sånt så har ju som regel gå fort så då är ju so basically, Norwegians and Americans are very similar on break on the practicality of a quick, easy breakfast. <laughs> Did a a bird just flew into his lap? What? What's this bird doing? How these birds are that comfortable around human beings that they'll fly right onto your Lap? And this guy's like, it's no big deal to him. What the heck? This doesn't even have to do with breakfast. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Venstre hånd skal jeg det siste du gjør om morgenen før du drar spinner av gården på jobben. Yeah, yeah, very similar. Det koster en år, kanskje er viktig på høytid i løpet av dagene, for familie å samle flokken og ete i lag og dra. Yes, ideally, breakfast is a time for the family to get together and get to like have a moment to eat together and talk a little bit. But that's just not what ends up happening usually. Sometimes, but not usually. Røfte noen ord på hverandre da. Og planlegge eventuelt videre på dagen da. Så vi tenker at det er viktig for familie og sosialt sett egentlig. Yeah, I like that. Hvor kommer du og dialekta di fra? Oh, so we're asking where in Norway these individuals are from? I'm not familiar with reg regionality of Norway, so uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll learn something. I come from Trondheim, and I speak a lot of Trondheim, but it's a bit outdated of Trondheim compared to what it has been. It's just because I'm a little bit more like that. I have many friends from Oslo. I've been with Oslo. 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 Uh, the only Norwegian city that I know of. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot to learn. Wow, she's from a part of Norway where other Norwegians can't even understand her dialect very well. Wow. So I can't really stolt over the dialect variant I have now, but but Trondheim has become a new more than multicultural. Trondheim. Men, um, men... Trondheim. Trond... Where is that? It's Trondheim. Let's see where that is. Trondheim? Maybe? I'm not sure how you pronounce this. In comparison to Oslo? Seven hours apart. Wow, pretty far. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Now I know another city. <laughs> Thank you. Trondheim has become a lot more multicultural and a little more... It's a big city, so it has a dialect from the whole country, and then it becomes a kind of... Maybe a kind of melting pot without... Melting pot. ...on the same way as the old one. I'm a little confused. Are there so many... Are the regions so different, the cities so different in Norway from each other, that you have different ways of speaking all together? Um, I don't know, I have to learn, I have to learn more about this. I want to learn more about that. The dialects. Okay. <laughs> oh. But but she grew up in Norway. 
from America. Okay. Uh, I came from Hanne. Three quarters of the Orkanger. We came from Sandvika. Sandvika? Bærum. Bærum. I came from Orkdal. Orkdal. It's near Jørme. Jørme. So I think most of the people have come from I'm just learning places at this point. <laughs> So even though they're all from different parts of Norway, it seems that most of them still had the same sort of answers about uh, what they have for breakfast. So I think on a national level, Norway is pretty cohesive about uh, the breakfast items, what we're having for breakfast anyway. Jag kommer ifrån Lier, eh, rätt på utsidan av Drammen. Västlandet. Blomstalsdialekt. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see I did enjoy that video. Thank you. Simple Norwegian. Very nice. Uh okay. That was informative. Uh I was thinking it would be very similar to American breakfast, and I think I was, for the most part, correct. Even the thought of something quick and easy, it's not this big event, it's just breakfast, get it done with, so you have energy for the day. That's the same between America and Norway. Some, one of the big differences was that liver stuff, which is simply not a food that exists in America. Seems very healthy, very interesting. I don't think you'd ever get me to try it, but uh, <laughs> that was probably the most shocking breakfast item. Other than that, the maybe one of the bigger differences was that Norwegians enjoy just straight up bread with maybe some meat items, some salty foods, cheese, meat, bread and cheese, I heard a lot, a little bit of cereal, a little bit of oatmeal. Um, whereas in America, you're going to hear... For the most part, cereal, cereal bars, breakfast bars, an egg, uh, maybe nothing at all. Just these quick little processed breakfast foods that come pre-made and pre-packaged. Uh, maybe a health bar, a granola bar, something you can hold in one hand and run out the door to school or work. That's basically how breakfast works. And it sounds like that's how it works in Norway, too. Uh, so, I... Uh, I, I was very, this video was very interesting to me because I really have no concept of Norwegian day-to-day -day living, culture, what Norwegian people consider normal, what goes on. I have no idea. So even the breakfast, I'm ready to be shocked and surprised by even the breakfast items. In this case, it was pretty expected, pretty tame. So it's, it's still very interesting to know. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to give it a like or comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway's culture and themes and news and all sorts of Norwegian things I don't know about, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.